Man, my tiles, my tiles look really uh, 80s here. Something. I could film the elevators here, but I'm just gonna ride them as I go along because this place is obviously huge. Of elevators, I think it's a ThyssenKrupp. been to the airport in years and you know the story how this place was very notorious for its endless chaos and its delays blame on air canada <laughs> Sorry guys. Can't get up. I'll Man, I wanted to come to this airport for a while. This is the busiest and largest airport in Canada. But it's also the worst on planet Earth, as you already know. Oh my gosh, this freaking airport got uh, media attention. Actually, no, it made international <laughs> headlines. Of course, just search up Pearson Airport's delays and stuff. But it's been getting better. Unlike, you know, back in the spring and early summer. My things are just, god, terrible. People call it like the worst place to be on Earth. Look at that, eh? Big ass departure board. Ah, oh, where is the exit? I think this is the uh, departures right up right here and the arrivals are down below. Yeah. And that right there is the terminal link train. That's eventually to be replaced by an expanded uh, transit hub.
Again, I'm not gonna talk much in this video. I'm gonna skip a few doors down. As I walk around YYZ, there's a ton of international travelers here. To me, I wonder, like, we can't tell who's a local here. Also, you guys are wondering, you know, you notice there's a, there's only Terminal 1 and 3, what the hell happened to Terminal 2? Well, basically, Pearson expanded Terminal 1 in the 2000s, so they got rid of Terminal 2 in 2007, and they just kept it, like, as Terminal 1, 3, so people don't often get confused, which is which. So again, this is Terminal 3, three we're at. I think I'll make a separate video for Terminal 1. And I'm gonna take the link train over. I am not gonna be here too long because I got stuff to do. So this is basically a uh, domestic departures right here. And there's a few planes parked, but obviously I'm not going to go in because I have a feeling there's security checkpoints. Huh. Passengers only. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going through there. Worst the chance of getting caught. Oh look, there's one of the bigger Thyssen Krupp elevators. Let's see if we can still catch one despite that they're super busy. Holy hell, this is super big. Well, obviously to fit, you know, people and luggage. By the way, I just noticed I have to go to the other end of the terminal to catch the, uh, the link train. Look, train to city. Yes, that's for the Up Express. Now, this is where to catch the international arrivals, right here. You know what's weird? And very coincidental, my mom is actually flying out of here today from Terminal 3. She doesn't even know I'm here, but she's way past customs. She's going to Cuba, so, uh, but, uh, <laughs> will I have time to greet her when she comes back next week? I don't know, but again, if I want to come and greet her, this is where I got to go.
basically now I'm coming back to where I'm to where I started. Well, it's quite a lot though. Another elevator here. This way, I gotta go catch the trains. Well, at least the uh, the, the link train. Train to City. They refer to that as the uh, well. That's that's what they refer to the uh, Union Pearson Express. You know the uh, airport railway to downtown Toronto. Technically, we're in Mississauga, but we're very very close to Toronto city limits. Let me step out here. Quickly. Yeah, there's a bus. I'm gonna be catching the uh, 952 to go back home after this. Fortunately, you gotta pay another fare. But that's all right. I don't plan to go anywhere tomorrow. Actually, yes, I am going to. Uh, Yes, I am walking fast because it's busy here, and plus it's also the afternoon uh, rush hour, well, the, the beginning at least. I have no idea what time it is now. Actually, I can check. Because there's obviously clocks all over the damn place. Nine fifty-two bus. Yep, I'll be catching that. Okay, look at this. You got a. Okay, so you got like three vending machines for fares, and this is oh very detailed here. So the only uh, buses that serve here are two TTC routes, actually no, three, if you want to count the express, and you got three gold spot, no, then you got two gold bus routes, one branching transit route, and three uh, Mississauga routes. Look at this. This map here is very detailed. I like how, uh, I think it's a greater Toronto airport authority and Metro Links, the way they laid out this, very helpful to people who are coming here for the very first time. I want to go to the uh, link train. Where is that? Okay, I guess I'm not too far. And of course, there's the uh, subway and original well, commuter transit map right here. Of course, our commuter rail is Go Transit. It was operated by Go Transit. That's why you call it the Go Train. That's the baggage claim. All right, just realized I go up these escalators here. All right. I'm going to film a separate video on the uh, link train, which I've never been on before. Terminal one, D, E, and F. I'm going in circles here. Oh, there we go. Terminal one. There was probably asking, what is that little tall structure you, you're talking about? CN Tower, you know now. There's so many important resources here. They're very good, but of course it's not perfect given the amount of delays. Those elevators are busy, so I am not going to film them. Nice outside. When I left, it was cloudy. All right, 
I can go this way. Hey, there's an elevator here. Let it close. Man, it's quiet here. Close. So this is the lift platform. Has three stops, Viscount, Terminal 3, and then Terminal 1. I think I'm gonna head into the uh, Viscount direction. Oh, this is the Viscount platform. Let's see if we can get a view of uh, downtown TO from here. No, you can't. That's Mr. Sago over there. All right, so stay tuned for a uh, Terminal 1 video. And that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Take care. All the best. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.